this video today we're going to be looking at how we set up our AWS IoT solution, Lambda, and our Alexa skills so that we can actually use these and connect to our Flogo application that we'll be building in part two of this video series. So if I start by opening up my AWS management console, I'm going to start off with the AWS IoT portion. So if I just click on that, it'll bring me up to the AWS IoT page. And if you notice the dashboard already, I already have some sort of connection. Um, but we're making a new one just to see how it's done. So we start off with the certificates, and I'm going to create a new one. Way to do this, you just do the one-click recommended certificate. This will generate the public-private certificates that you can download and that you'll need to download, and then also let you activate the root CA. So you'll need to activate that and download that as well. So just download all of these. And the root CA will probably pop up in your browser like it did for mine. So I'm just going to copy this and I'll paste it later um, when I need that specific file, where I need to put that specific file. So now I need to go to my terminal. So I'm going to move to that. If you notice in my terminal, I already have a folder, an empty folder that I'm going to be using where I'm going to put all of my different um, certs and keys and such. So I'm just going to create a root CA um, certificate that I'm just going to paste what I copied earlier and then write it and quit. So paste and save it. And so this should be in my folder. And now I need to actually move my other um, three certificates back to my, uh, or back into this folder. So what I'm going to do is open up a new tab. I'm going to go to um, my downloads. So this is where it was downloaded, those three. And I need to move them into this uh, folder that I'll be using also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be changing the name. So instead of the B3D, um, whatever, uh, either private, public, or cert, um, I'm actually going to change it to just say uh, device. So I'm going to specify um, the folder I want to use, a so work, Alexa IoT sample, and then I'm going to change the name device.pem.cert. And so I'm going to do this for each one of them. So I'm going to change this one for the private key. So change that to device.pem.key. And then change this value to private. And so when, what's going to happen is that once I have all these moved here later on, when I actually build my Flogo application, it's going to leverage these keys. And it's going to need these keys and actually access the MQTT endpoint. And then for the public key, we're actually not going to use it, but we'll have it just in case. So I'm not going to rename it. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So if we just check into our folder, we'll see that all our keys are there and they're renamed properly. So now what I need to do is actually move into back to my um, AWS console. If I scroll back there. And I'm going to hit done for my certificates. So if you notice, there's uh, two certificates now instead of one. So my certificate was created successfully. And so what I need to do now is actually create a thing. So if you notice, I have a Flogo thing. I need to create a new one. So I'm going to just give this a new name. In this case, I'm going to call it Flogo Demo. And just create a thing. We're going to attach this later on. So now I have two things. And now I need to create some sort of policies for my certificate. So if I go under Security, Policies, notice how I have one already, but I need to create a new one. So Create, I'm just going to give it a name. Um, I'm going to do Flogo underscore AWS underscore Demo. And then what action I want to take. So I'm going to because we're going to be using the IoT resource, I want to give all type of um, access or action access for the IoT um, device. So I'm going to allow, create. And I actually need to edit this because out of the box, it specifies a specific ARN um, resource. Um, so I need to edit this policy. So I'm going to edit. And I'm going to change this. So instead of the specific ARN resource that it has um, when you first create it, um, I'm actually going to make it so it's every single resource. So any type of um, IoT connection um, can be can use this uh, policy. So I'm going to save it. And if you notice, I've, there's versioning also built into AWS IoT. So if I need if I make a mistake, I must change it. Now in my certificate, I need to attach the policy and attach the thing. So I'm just going to click attach policy. Let's just use the policy, and I'm going to attach the thing as well. It's Flogo demo attach. And so now the certificate and the policy and the thing will are all usable together. And we can actually test this out and see what endpoint we need to use. So under test MQG client, we can see the endpoint. 
This is the endpoint that we'll be using for our MQTT connection later on when we actually um, invoke this resource in our Flogo application. And we'll, um, we'll copy and paste this later on. So we build back to services and we're going to move on to our Lambda service. I'm going to search Lambda. And so what we need to do is actually build a Lambda, Lambda function or skill. So I'm going to create a new function and I'm going to say author from scratch. Um, the trigger is going to be an Alexa skill. So when I say something in Alexa, um, it's going to trigger this uh, function in Lambda. So if I give it a name, in this case, it can be whatever you want, but I'm just going to do Flogo demo um, and then dash skill. You can choose a runtime if you want to. In this case, I'm going to use Node.js. And you need to um, either write the function code or upload the zip file. I'm actually just going to upload it for the sake of simplicity. Um, here's what the zip file looks like. Um, I have different folders in here as well. But what I'm interested in is the Lambda folder, and it's going to have an archive that I'm going to use to upload. Um, this will be available, so if you look in the description below, you'll be able to download this as well and use this as a sample. So I'm just going to upload. I have this saved on my desktop. I go to my Alexa skill Lambda, and then Lambda, and I see the archive zip, so I'm going to open this. And then um, I all, what I have to set is an existing role, so uh, I'm going to have to set an IM role. So if I say a new, it's going to ask me to create a new IM role. So this is going to give it permission to do certain things. So I create a new one, I just give it a name, and I'm going to allow. So this will actually create the role. What I need to do is actually now give it permission. So it's been created, but the permissions haven't been set. So I'm going to open a new tab, and I'm going to go back to the IAM service. So if I just search IAM, and then if I click on roles, you'll see that I have my Lambda basic execution uh, demo uh, role that I just created. So if I click on that, and then I can set a policy for the permissions. So attach policy, and I'm going to search IoT. And here I'm going to just set uh, full access. So just for the sake of simplicity and testing, I'm just going to give it all full access, attach the policy, and now this um, role will have the ability to do pretty much anything regarding um, IoT. So once that's done, I can hit next, and I'm just going to, I can look at that if there's anything wrong, but if not, I just create the function. So now all you want to check is the code section. And usually if everything is done correctly, you should see something similar to this, the code. Um, you should see the broker endpoint, broker reach in, and the IoT thing. Um, these uh, values have to be configured. So the IoT thing, this is what you named your um, thing when you created it in the IoT, um, AWS IoT service. So we're just going to check to make sure what it is, maybe in case you forgot, or you want to make sure that it has to be the same exact name. So Flogo demo is the one that we created. So I'm going to replace this Flogo value with Flogo demo. The region that this was created in, so this was created in US East. In my case, I'm going to change this to US East 1. And then the broker endpoint. So this is the AWS MQTT endpoint under the test um, function. So if we look at the view endpoint, we're just actually going to copy this endpoint. And I'm going to replace whatever value, pre-existing values here. And essentially what it's saying is that this is the endpoint you'll use for the broker itself. And then you can scroll in the code as well, and you can see that um, there's some, an intent for turning on the light, um, what it's supposed to say, intent for turning off, what it's supposed to say as well. Um, so it's relatively simple. It's just to see um, using Flogo to turn on light essentially on a Raspberry Pi. And there's other configurations and triggers to make sure that the Alexa skills trigger is set. And if you want to do monitoring, you can do that as well. So we'll save it. And now that we've saved it, we can go to our developer portal for Amazon. So it's developer.amazon.com. And if you go to Alexa tab, you should see the Alexa skills kit to get started. And I have one already, but I'm going to create a new one. So the first thing I need to do is set a name. I can set this whatever I want. Um, and invocation name. So what what will Alexa recognize when I say this name? So essentially when I say Flogo and then the command, it should recognize to, in, to invoke this. So if I hit Save and Next, then I need to set the intent schema. So this has to be related to your Lambda function. Like I showed in the coding for the Lambda function, I had intents for turning on, I had intents for turning off, and I had an intent for um, help. 
So I just need to actually just type um, these intents in so that it knows essentially what to pull from, um, or what function or what uh, within the code it needs to actually uh, pull the information from. What does it actually have to do? So we'll start with the on one, and then I'm just going to copy and paste these. So it's a little bit faster. I'll have to type them each time. Does this mean error? I think I forgot a, a period or a, a comma. So let me change that after it changes the off. So add a comma. So yeah, any any uh any time that it's listed, you need to have a comma. The last one will not have a comma, um, but every intent before that needs to have a comma, or you're gonna get thrown in error. So I'm gonna set three intents that are available in my lambda function skill, um, and then. Once I'm done with that, I can just scroll down. And I need to set some sort of sample um, values so that Alexa um, has an idea of how the how it's going to be uh, commanded to do something. So I'm going to essentially say Flogo lights on intent uh, to turn on the lights, essentially. So anytime I say Flogo to turn on lights, something similar to that, or Flogo to turn off the lights, something similar to that, then it should activate um, this Alexa skill. So I'm going to save that. It might take a few seconds while it's saving, but while uh, while you're waiting for that, you can just hit next. It won't really change anything. Uh, you'll see the little spinning wheel in the invocation model, but eventually it'll turn green. So now we'll use the AWS Landum Arm um, resource. Where we get this is back in our Lambda function. You'll see at the top for the skill, the Arn. So I'm going to just copy this. And I'm going to paste it on the default value. So it's going to essentially this is saying, okay, where do you invoke from? This is the value. This is where you're who you're going to talk to. So I'm going to save it, and, and then I can go to the test function, and actually I can actually test out and simulate what's going to happen. So um, if if you get some if you get an error here, then you know something is wrong. If you get it successfully, that means you know all the connections have been done properly. So if I do Flogo or Alex asks Flogo to turn on the lights, it should say turning lights on now. So we try that out. Sometimes the first response takes a little while, and, and we see the request and the response. So turning lights on now. And if I had speakers, um, it would say turning lights on now as well. You can test off as well, and you'll see that the off function also works. So we know that our uh, two intents work as well. So that's it for part one. For part two, we'll be looking into building our actual Flogo application and integrating it with all of these different AWS services. Um, and we'll be able to turn on and off the lights um, with Alexa and Flogo and different AWS services. Thank you.